Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Sunma, good evening. Fine. Very good. I'm glad to hear that. How was the weekend? ¿Qué tal el fin de semana? How was the weekend? Excellent. Okay, good. In your Monday, how was it? How Fine. Was? Okay. All right, that's nice. And were you able to complete all the exercises in the platform and all the work we had? Um, sí, sí, yo la completé todas. Oh, okay. Good. All right. Nice. Welcome, Suma. Hello, Susana. How are you? Oh, Susana, I cannot hear you. Can you check your microphone, please? Can't hear you. Um, I can hear you now, but it's so loud. Le oigo, pero muy bajito. Check the volume, maybe, or something. Y ahora? A little better. So, how are you? Fine. So, um, maybe Susana, you can check and yeah, let's find a way to fix it because I cannot really hear you pretty well. So, hi, Tony. Hi, Miss. I'm sorry. How are you? <laughs> so, how's it going? How are you? I'm fine. Great. How was your day? Uh, no sé cómo decirlo en inglés, pero un poco cansado. Me tocó trabajar este fin de semana y ando todo adolorido. Oh, you're tired. <laughs> That's how you say in English. Cansado, tired. Ah, tired. You say I'm tired. Okay. okay. And so the weekend was busy. Estuvo ocupado el fin de semana. Bastante. Oh. La ventaja okay. es que voy a descansar uh, jueves, viernes, sábado y domingo de esta semana. Oh, that's good. Eso. Recuperar, <laughs> la energía, recuperar las energías. <laughs> yes, right. Now you have time to rest. <laughs> Hi, Frank. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. How, How are your you? Week? Now, very fine, very happy, ready to learn. And Excellent. we are very happy to see to see your face, teacher, because <laughs> last class you disappeared yeah. from I the know. screen. Yes, I had some trouble with the camera, so I couldn't uh, use it on Friday, but now it's fine, so I'm here. <laughs> oh, very good. So how was the weekend? Uh, very active. Uh, cool. uh, yesterday, I, I worked all, all day long. Oh, you did? But I'm here. Okay. In, mm -hmm. All right. Great. Jose Manuel, good evening. Hello. Good evening, everybody. How are you, Jose? I'm fine. Thank you. And you? Great. I'm pretty well. Thanks for asking. So how was the weekend? Uh, fine, happy Saturday. Oh, great. Did you go out or just stayed home? Uh, and home, home. Okay, all right, that's cool. Cecilia, good evening. Hi, good evening, everybody. How are you, Cecilia? Fine, very well. Okay, great. How was the weekend? 
Nice. Enjoying with the family. Oh, great. Did you stay home or go out? In home. Okay. Good. Abel, good evening. Good evening. How's everything? How are you? Fine. Well working a lot, but good. Okay. That's great. How was the weekend? Oh, very well, very well. All right, that's nice. Yeah, thank you. Carmelina, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. Great. How was the weekend? Good. I was with my family and everything was fine. Okay, that's pretty great. And how about the homework? Carmelina, did you have time to do everything in the platform, to work in the platform and everything? Yes. You did. Very good. Mm -hmm. Italia Margarita, good evening. Hi, good evening. How's everything? How are you? Doing fine. Great. How was your day? Kind of busy doing some reports to Hacienda. Yeah. Oh, okay. Struggling yeah. with the presentation of one. I couldn't make it oh. yet. So maybe I have some behavior today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I bet. In the weekend, how was it? It was okay. Uh, right. Resting with my family and then coming back to the capital. Oh, nice. Yeah. So on weekends, you visit your family? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Dalia mm -hmm. Ramos. Good evening. Hi, Dalia. Oh, I can hear you. I cannot hear you. Check your microphone, please. Mm, no, we still don't hear you. Dalia, check that please. And meanwhile, let me say hi to Carlos. Hi, Carlos. Hi, teacher. How are you? Uh, so, so, I go in the bus <laughs> to oh, my home. <laughs> you're not home yet. Oh, no. No. Bad. Very You had a, you had a yeah. long day. Traffic. Oh, a lot of traffic. Yes. Oh, okay. All right. So we hope you get home soon. Thanks. Okay. So how about we start the class with a little um, activity? So this is a kind of game. Let's call it. We are going to try to make a guessing game by selecting some object that we have um, just nearby. Yes, I mean, it could be anything that you can see around you. For example, well, okay, I got something I have here in front of me. Then what you have to do is to ask me questions about it. For example, you can ask about the color, about its shape, about how big it is. For example, you could say, is it green? Then I'll give you an answer. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Is it big? Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Is it a cell phone? And then I'll answer, okay? So let's try that. You ask me questions about my objects. Let's see. <laughs> Any questions? <laughs> no. So let's try it. 
let me say, let me explain it again. I have selected an object that I have here, right? You cannot see it. Then you have to make questions. You have to ask me some questions in order to guess what it is. So you ask me, for example, is it black? Then I'll give you an answer, yes or no, right? Is it big? Is it small? Is it a box? Is it a notebook? Is it, I mean, you just ask about it randomly. Is it a pencil? No, it isn't. Okay. Other questions? Frank, open a your cat. microphone, please. No, it isn't a cat. <laughs> Teacher, what's the color of the object in front of you? Oh, okay. The color is gray. Gray? Yes. Anything else? Shape. Shape. You asked me about the shape. So it has to be a yes, no question, right? So you say, is it long? Is it, I mean, you see, you see it around the shape? No, it isn't. Hmm? Well, maybe you can make a question about the use. Like, what do you think it may be for? Mm -hmm. Is your car blue? No, it isn't. Oh. Is it big? No, it's not. It's not big. Think about more more questions. What else do you need to know? Um, it's a notebook. No, it isn't a notebook. You see the part? Part for plants. You see that mm -hmm. a part for plants? No, it isn't. Mm -hmm. It's a pencil. It isn't. Okay, I use it a lot, especially during the class. It's uh, an eraser? No, it isn't. Okay, I'll give you a clue. It is for drinking water. Is it a glass, a glass, a glass? Nope. <laughs> You're close though. <laughs> a cup? Nope. Coffee cup? No. What else do we use drinking. for drinking water? Drinking. It's not a glass, it's not a cup. What? Champagne? A bowl of water. No. A bottle, yes. It's a bottle of uh, water. You got it, you see? So that's yeah. how it goes. Okay, so now, who's next? You select an object there, and then we are going to make you some questions. We're going to ask you. You give us answers, and we try to guess. So who's going to participate? Who said me? Let me see. Ready? Okay, let's do this. Give me a number from one to 10. Just whatever number. Eight. Number eight, let me see. Jose Manuel, it's your turn. Okay, so Jose Manuel, you have to select an object that you have there in your house and then we are asking you questions about it. You just um, answer them, right? We try to guess. Okay. Uh, and no, no le entendí mucho. This. Okay, don't worry. I'll explain it again. Okay, selecciona un objeto que tenga por ahí. Puede ser a, a pencil, it could be a notebook, it could be oh. a chair, just whatever thing you have there. And then we are all going to ask you some questions. Le vamos a hacer algunas preguntas, así como ustedes me estaban preguntando a mí. Y usted nos va respondiendo. Luego nosotros vamos a intentar eh, adivinar el objeto que usted está viendo. Okay? Okay. 
All right, so choose something and then we start with the questions. Get it, Jose? Yes. Okay. The ob object? Yes, the object. You got it, don't show it, don't show it. <laughs> okay, so questions, everybody? Jose Manuel, the object, yes. is it made of plastic? Is it made of plastic, mm. your object? No. Is it big or small? Uh, mm, medium. Big? Medium. Big. Oh, it's big? Medium, medium, medium. Okay. What is made for? No. Try to make uh, yes no questions. It is a cell phone. Uh, no. It is in a cell. Oh, ah. show that it's a book. <laughs> it's a book. Oh, oh yes yes it's a book. What's okay. the title of the book, Jose Manuel? I uh, got two books uh, from dummies from that uh, yeah. series. What Yellow. is it? Ah, English, English for oh. dummies. Be very good. Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah. Cool. All right. Thanks for participating, Jose Manuel. So, who's next? Thank you for you. Anybody else who wants to participate? Um, okay. So, give me another number. Oh, Frank, go ahead. So yeah, I got my job. You get now. Sure. Now, let's ask questions. Everybody? It is a big. Is it big? Is it big? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, is it big? It is big. Okay. Is, is your computer? No, it isn't. Mm, the radio? Is it a radio? Radio? Radio, very close. It is a picture. It is what? It is a picture. A picture. picture? No, it isn't. Sorry, Susanna. <laughs> it is TV. What? It is TV. Is it a TV? No, it isn't. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Is it a book? No, it isn't a book. No, not a book. It is a painting? Is it, it is a? Painting? I don't understand you. Painting. Painting, painting. ah, picture, painting, no. Oh. It isn't a painting, no. No, no, no. It's a door? It is a door? Is it a door? No, it isn't a door. It's a table? What? It's a table. Table. Is table. it a table? No, it isn't. No, it isn't a table. It is a mouse. Window. Do you a want mouse? a clue? Do you want a clue? Desk. Yeah, it's made for music. It's a guitar. What? Guitar. The guitar. Is it a guitar? It... A guitar? No. Very close. Very close. Is it, is it the kit? drums? Oh. Drum kit. It is in a drum kit. Okay. Honey? Something technology. What? It is something technology. Something related um, to technology. It's an electronic device. Hmm. Is that hard? It, it is an MP3. Radio? Sorry. Not a radio. It's Not a horn. It's a horn. horn. Uh, it is a tablet. Very close, Jose Manuel. Ah, yes. It's a very boost. Close. It's a very horn. close. Okay, so it's close to a speaker. Hmm. Let's think about mm -hmm, it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Any other ideas? 
You see Another the hat? child? You see that? Child. Chair. A chair. Oh, yeah. ah, no, no, no. It's, it's, the, the chair is not electric. It's your ah, ah. bocina. No. Is it a speaker? My, bocina is for music. Speaker. For music, is it big? It has knobs. Knobs. For volume, balance. Interesting. Okay. Is it, how we call it? Is it an amplifier? I think that's the word. Uh -huh. I don't even know yeah, much yeah, about yeah, music, teacher, but. Teacher, exactly. <laughs> it's, a, okay. it's an electric amplifier, a guitar amplifier. Okay. I can show you but because it's big. Yeah, I bet. Okay. Thanks for participating, Frank. Thank you. All right, good. So now, um, do I have any volunteers to continue? One more person to participate. Anybody? Mm -hmm. Okay, tell me another number then from one to 11. Five. Number nine, let's see. That's you, Dalia. <laughs> Dalia Margarita. <laughs> okay. All right. So select your object and let us know when you're ready. Um, okay. Um, I got it. Okay. So question. Ball. Sorry, can you repeat that? It, it is a small. Is it small, Dalia? Um, yeah, a little bit. Okay. Elephant. What is the color, Dalia? <laughs> <laughs> well, the color is um, green. Okay, green. It is a notebook. What? Is it a notebook? Uh, no. It is a marker. No. Is it the table? Anyone? Is it no. a table? No. It is a plant? No, it's there. <laughs> it, is, it is a cell phone? No. It's a pencil? It's a wall? No. We use it to drink something. Uh, okay. They use in the hair. No, okay. she said we use what? it to drink, Cup? to drink something. Yeah. It's a coconut. No. <laughs> no, I wish. A lemon. <laughs> a lemon no. Cup. What? Cup. Kinda. <laughs> It's a relative. Another guess then. Uh, what is the four? <laughs> What's the shape? <laughs> the shape is. Is it a rounded shape? Circle. Rounded? Is it rounded? I, I think it's straight with you. A little bit. It's not too big, but we use it to drink liquid. I don't know. <laughs> Can I say it? Miss? Yes, go ahead and say it. It's a glass. It's a glass. Uh, OK. <laughs> All right, perfect. So thanks, everybody, for participating. That was good. Just let me remind you that um, whenever we're asking questions, we use the verb be 
at the beginning, right? So we say, is it, is it a pencil? Is it a notebook? Is it a pen? So just keep that in mind. And now let's move on to our next activity. There we go. They're in banana. Okay, so we are going to read a conversation and practice it, first of all. Um, it's a conversation between Mark and Jennifer. They are having a, an interview. And it goes like this. I'll read it for you, then we get a chance to practice it. So it goes like, hello, can I ask you some questions for an interview? Yes, I can answer some, I can answer some questions. Thank you for taking the time. Now, first question, what do you do? I work in a library, I'm a librarian. Are you married? Yes, I am. What does your husband do? He works as a policeman. Do you usually have dinner together? Yes, we do. How often does your husband exercise? He sometimes exercises four times a week, but he usually exercises only twice a week. Where do you like going on vacation? We rarely go on vacation. However, we like to go to the mountains if we can. What type of books do you read? I often read horror stories. Thank you very much for answering my questions. You're welcome. Okay, so take a look at the conversation and tell me if you have questions about the vocabulary, please. Any new words? No? No. I'm okay. How about in the second part? Any doubts? Any questions? Sorry. Maybe not. Mm -hmm. And how about this word twice? Do you understand the meaning of that? Dos veces. Dos veces. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. It's very easy, right? So now let me have some volunteers to read it, please. We have anybody who wants to. Ready? Come on, don't be shy. Okay, so may I choose? <laughs> Let's see, let me ask. Gabriel Hernandez and Tul. So, Abel, you start. Sure. Hello. Can ask some question for Hola. Yes, no? I can ask. Yes, I can. Lo verde voy a decir? Yes, sorry. I was just going to say that I'm going to mute everybody and then you open your microphones again. Zulma and, and uh, sorry, I forgot Abel. So we do not get that background noise. There we go. Now you can open your microphones again. Zulma and Abel. Okay. Me too. Go ahead. Hello, can I ask you some question for interview? Yes, I can answer some question. Thank you for taking the time. Now, first question: What do you, what do you do? I work in the library. I'm a librarian. Are you married? Yes, I am. What does your husband do? He works as a policeman. Do you usually have dinner together? Yes, we do. There you go, continue. How, how often do, does your husband exercise? He sometimes exercises four times a week, but does, 
but he usually exercises only twice a week. Where do you like going on vacation? We really go on vacation. However, however, we like to go to um, mountain uh, if we can. What type of book do you read? I often read horror stories. Thank you very much for answering my question. You're welcome. Great. Thank you so much, Annabel. Now I need you to repeat after me. Questions. Everybody? Questions. 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 Interviews. Interview. 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 Answer. 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 No, again, listen to me first. Answer. 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 Good. Taking. 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 First. 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 Library. 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 Librarian. 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 Married. 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 Husband. 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 Works. 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 Dinner. Works. Dinner. 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 Usually. 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 Together. Yeah. Together. Together. Exercise. Exercise. Sometimes. 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 Exercises. 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 Usually. 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 Twice. 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 Vacation. 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 Okay, this one is rarely. 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 The mountains. 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 Type. 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 Horror. 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 Okay, um, now let me just take a second. I need to do something here, so sorry about it. I have a, a little thing to do. Just give me a second, please. Okay, sorry about that. I just had a little emergency, but don't worry, everything's fine. So um, let me select another pair to read the conversation. Let me have, let's see who's going to participate this time. How about Carmelina? And let's see who else. Cecilia, go ahead and read the conversation, please. Hello, can I can I ask you some question for an interview? Yes, I can answer some question. Thank you for taking the time. Now, first question: What do you do? I work in a library. I am a librarian. Are you married? Yes, I am. What does your husband do? We work as a policeman. 
Do you usually have dinner together? Yes, we do. How often does your husband exercise? He sometimes exercises for time a week, but he usually exercise only twice a week. Where do you like going on vacation? We rarely go on vacation. However, we like to go to the mountain of weekend. No, no if we can. If we can. If we can. What type of books do you read? I of read horror story, history. All right. Thank you very much for answering my question. You're welcome. Okay, excellent, Carmelina and Cecilia. Thanks for reading. Now let's practice the pronunciation once again. Please repeat after me. Questions. Question. Question. Questions. Interview. 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 Answer. 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 Taking. Taking. Library. Library. Librarian. Librarian. Husband. 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 Usually. Usually. Dinner. 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 Together. Together. Okay, next one, sometimes. 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 Exercises. 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 Usually. 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 Twice. 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 Vacation. 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 Rarely. Rarely. Mountains. 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 Horror. 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 Story. 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 Okay, so it is stories. not a stories, it is not only stories. You have to say that stories. Stories. Story. Okay, good. And answering. 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 Okay, good. So as you can see in the conversation, our next topic is the present simple, right? So here we have some examples on how to use it. He sometimes exercises four times a week. Then we have he usually exercises only twice a week. We rarely go on vacation. We like to go to the mountains if we can. I often read horror stories. So all of those sentences are in the simple present. So let's talk a little bit about that tense. First of all, we are going to review the verbs because here we need to make some changes to the base forms, right? So here we have the rules. And the spelling rule, the general spelling rule says that with most of the verbs, we add S. For example, when we have live, we change it to lives. Sit changes to sits say changes to say. Then we also have some different cases, right? Some different kinds of verbs. And for example, we have verbs ending in S, Z, C, H, S, H, or X. And for those ones, we have to add ES. It's not only S, but ES. For example, in the case of Miss, it becomes Misses. Buzz becomes Buzzes. Catch, catches, wish, wishes, fix, fixes. Then we also have another group of verbs that ends in consonant plus Y. For those ones, we need to change the Y to I and add ES. For example, in the case of try, we change the Y to I, then add ES. So you see here, 
We do not have any Y, we have I, E, S. The same goes for carry, carries. And then we got some exceptions as well. We got a um, verbs ending in vowel plus Y. For those ones, we only need to add S. For example, in the case of play, we get plays, say, takes S, and it becomes safe. Then we got the verbs go and do. Go becomes goes and do, does. And let me also mention the verb have. The verb have is irregular and it changes to has. So um, here we have the, the rules, right? The general rules. And let me tell you, we only need to change the verbs for the third person. That is for he, she, and it. So normally we use live. For example, I say, I live in Santa Ana. I live in Santa Ana. But then if I change that sentence to he or to a subject that will be in third person, he, she, it would be, she lives in Santa Ana. Then I use this form of the verb, right? He lives. And it's the same with the others, right? I try to practice English. I try. She tries to practice English. She tries. So I only change the verb whenever I'm using the third person subject. He, she, or it. Okay, so are we understanding this or do you have any questions? No sé si necesitamos que vuelva a explicar cómo vamos. Hemos comprendido. What do you say? Everything's good? Vamos bien? Una pregunta. Todo esto son en, en, en presente, ¿verdad? Yes. Yes, okay. it's the simple present. Any questions? Ok, normalmente lo que hacemos es agregar S al verbo. Sin embargo, tenemos distintos casos como estas terminaciones que toman ES. No sería solo agregarle S, sino que ES. Acá tienen algunos ejemplos. Y luego también tenemos que tomar en cuenta estos cambios con los verbos que terminan en Y. Acá, cuando tengamos la combinación de consonante más Y, como acá que tenemos una R antes de la Y, vamos a cambiarla, vamos a cambiar la Y por Y latina. So it becomes I, E, S. Entonces, básicamente quitamos la Y y agregamos I, E, S. I, E, S. Luego, en estos verbos no hacemos ese cambio porque antes de la Y tengo una vocal. Entonces, en esta combinación, por ejemplo, A, Y, solamente voy a agregar la S. Entonces, All right, so there we have the, the example, right? Play, place, stay, stays. And then um, these verbs are irregular, completely irregular. We got go, goes, do, does. And I also mentioned the verb have, right? Let me add it over here so you can also take notes, notes of that one. Have becomes has. Oops. There we go. So in the case of have, we have the third form has. Estos tres si son irregulares, hay que tenerlo en cuenta. Go, goes, do, does, have, has. Any questions? No questions? Okay, so let's repeat. Live, live. Live, lives. Live, lives. Sit, sit. Stay, stay. Stay, stay. Stay, Miss, misses. Miss, misses. Buzz, buzzes. Buzz, buzzes. Catch, catches. Catch, catches. Wish, wishes. Wish, wishes. Fix, fixes. Try, tries. Try, try, try. Carry, carries. 
Play, play. Play, play. Play, play. Play, play. Go, go. Go, go. Do that. Do that. Do that. Have, have. Have, have. Do we understand the meaning of all the verbs we have here? Yes? Yeah. Good. And let's move on. Now let's talk a little bit about the uses of the simple present tense. We use it for repeated or regular actions in the present time period. Those things that happen over and over, right? For example, I take the train to the office. So it may be that I take the train, what, five times a week or two times a week, three times a week maybe, but I do it repeatedly, right? It doesn't only happen once, it happens in repeated um, occasions, right? Then we also have the train to Berlin leaves every hour. So that is, that is something that happens every hour, right? It happens at eight, at nine, at 10, and so on. It continues. So it's regular. Then we also say Jan sleeps eight hours every night during the week. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, he sleeps eight hours. Then similar to this one, we use the simple present for talking about habits. Those things that I do every day, right? That are part of my routine. For example, I can say, I get up early every day. Carol brushes her teeth twice a day. Next one, they travel to their country house every weekend. So those are habits, right? Those things that we do as part of our routines, right? For example, I normally wake up at six in the morning. Then I get ready for going to work. Then I go to the office, then I come back home, I have dinner and all of that, right? Those are our habits, our routine. Our third use for the simple present is the fact. For example, when we say the president of the USA lives in the White House, that is true, right? We all know that it is true and nobody can deny it, right? We can not say that it is not right. That is why we say it's a fact. Then we say a dog has four legs. Is it correct or not? Yes, yes, yes it is. right, it's a fact. It's correct. Then we have, we come from Switzerland. We come from Switzerland, it would be another example. Okay, then we have a fourth use, which is for talking about things that are always or general true. It's similar to the facts, right? It rains a lot in winter. It rains a lot in winter. The Queen of England lives in Buckingham Palace and they speak English at work. Those are some examples. Okay, so we got four different uses, right? First one for repeated or regular actions, the present time period. The next one for habits. The other one is for facts. And the last one for things that are always or generally true. Now let's talk about the verb conjugation and spelling. So form the present tense using the base form of the infinitive without the two. And in general, in the third person, we add S in the third, in the subject, he, she, or it, right? And here, let me show you this chart. Here we have for the subjects, I, you, we, and they, I use the verb in the infinitive without the two. So I just take the verb as it is, learn, cook, drink, go, come, and drive, whatever verb you may think of, and I use it. With the subjects, I do not have to change anything. I do not have to add anything. I just use it the way it is. I learn English at home. You learn English at home. 
we learn English at home and they learn English at home. Then for the subjects, he, she, and it, we have what is in the case of the verb learn. And remember that we have different rules, right? Some verbs take s, some others take es, and the other group takes ies. So we say, for example, mm -hmm. he learns English at home. He learns. I cannot say he learned. I say he learns. She learns English at home. It learns English at home. So just keep that in mind. We change the verb for he, she, and it. He, she, and it takes S, ES, or IES. Now here I have some examples. He goes to school every morning. He goes to school every morning. I understand English. I understand English. The machine mixes the sand in the water. And Mark tries very hard. We enjoy playing the piano and that's pretty much it. So here, the structure, it's very easy. We only have a subject, he, I, the machine, Mark, we. Then the verb goes, understand, mixes, tries, enjoy. And then a compliment, that's pretty much it. Subject, verb, compliment, three things. Subject, verb, and complement. Now it's time to practice. I need you to copy the verbs and write the corresponding forms for the third person. So I say, for example, I work, then I say he. He worked. Works. How do you spell that? W. How do you spell it? O. 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 R, R and K, K S, S. And I add S. Okay, so please everybody copy the list of verbs and you complete it using the third person form. Just take a couple of minutes to do that and then we will check it together.
Okay, so let's do this together. If you didn't finish, that's fine. Just we just solve it together and you can complete yours. So we got I dance becomes he dances. You add it. I play becomes he plays. Play. We only add S. I study. What happens there? I study. Study, yes. We have study. So here I need to drop the Y and add I S. Yes. Then I have I wash. He washes. 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 I go becomes he goes. I do comes he does. 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 I drink he drinks. 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 I cook he cooks. 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 Then I write he writes. He writes. He writes. You only add S. I eat he eats. It. It's, no. it's, 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 I drive. I drive. Drives. 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 Yes. Then I travel becomes he travels. I shop. He shop. It shops. Shops. Then, mm -hmm. And I eat. Oh, we got a repeat one. Sorry. Okay. So let's keep it until there. Then, as you see, to the most of the verbs, we only need to add S, right? So we got works, dances, plays, and the most of them only take S, shops, travels, drives. Then we got some other verbs that take ES, for example, washes, goes, does. And we got the third group, which takes IES, for example, in the case of study, right? Study becomes study. Now let's practice pronunciation. Repeat after me. I work. I work. I work. I work. He works. He works. He works. He works. I dance. I dance. I dance. He dances. He dances. He dances. I play. I play. I play. He plays. He plays. He plays. He plays. I study. I study. He studies. He, he studies. studies. He studies. I wash. I wash. I wash. He washes. He washes. He washes. He washes. He washes. He washes. I go. I, I go. go. He goes. He goes. He goes. I do. I do. I do. I do. He does. He does. He does. He does. He does. He does. I drink. I drink. I drink. He drinks. He drinks. He drinks. He drinks. I cook. I cook. I cook. He cooks. He cooks. I write. I write. I write. I write. He writes. He writes. He writes. He writes. I eat. I eat. He eats. He eats. He eats. I drive. I, I drive. I drive. I drive. He drives. He drives. He drives. He drives. I travel. I travel. I travel. He travels. He travels. He travels. He travels. He travels. I shop. I shop. I shop. I shop. He shops. He shops. Okay. It's very important to pronounce the last sound, right? The S. Because that's the only difference, right? I say, I work, he works, work. work. That S sound is the one that makes the difference. So it's very important to pronounce it well. Always remember, works, dances, work. plays, studies, washes, goes, does, drinks, cooks, Drives, it drives, travels, shops. So please try to keep on practicing that S sound at the end. Then I have a second practice for you to solve. 
you have to just choose the the form the correct form of the verb. For example, here we got Monica it or its egg. It. Monica. It. Monica it. 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 It's. It. Right. Okay. Number two, Teddy and Monica. Cook or Cook. cooks. Cook. Cooks. 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 Which one with S or no S? Mm. Cook yes. or cooks? No. Cook. Cooks. Cooks. Yes. That yes. one cook. doesn't take cook. the S because cook. we're talking about Teddy and Monica. They. They, right? Teddy and Monica cook. cook. Teddy and Monica cook spaghetti. Next one, Mickey study or studies? Studies. 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 Mickey studies English every day. Mickey and Jason work or works? Work. Work. They work. Mickey and Jason and Jason work in the same office. Next one, Angie and I drink or drink? Drink. 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 Angie and I drink coffee for we drink coffee all the time. Sorry. I'm kind of tired. Then we got Eva like or like. Likes. 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 Likes chocolate. Dustin watch or watches? Watches. Watches. Watches, watches. watches movies. Jocko play or plays the piano? Plays. 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 Play. 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 The students take or take? Take. 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 Take, take, right? Because it's plural. Students. And the last one, it rain or rains? Rains. 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 It rains here a lot. Okay. Now let's continue by talking a little bit about the negative statement. So we already said that in the affirmative statements, we need to change the verb for the third person by adding S, ES, or IES. Then for the negative, we use two different auxiliaries. The first one is do. We use it together with the not, right? Do not. And the other one is does not. So we use do not with the subject I, you, we, and they. And does not is for the third person, he, she, and it. So I say, I do not, you do not, we do not, they do not, but he does not, she does not, and it does not. Then after that, do not or does not, I add the verb. The verb in the base form. So that means that I do not need to change the verb. I say, I do not cook. I do not cook. Or he does not cook. Here we do not change the verb because we already we are already indicating the third person with the auxiliary that. Acá ya no necesitamos cambiar los verbos aunque sean para he, she, it. Porque estamos indicando la tercera persona con el auxiliar que es that. Then another thing that we need to consider here is that we have the possibility to use the contracted forms don't or doesn't. Here we go. So I may say, I do not understand or I don't understand. She doesn't take That's a shower right. or she does not take a shower, right? So we may say do not or don't, does not or doesn't. Are we clear about this? Yes? Good. So now let's make some examples of negative statements. So here, let me give you one and then you try to make some of your on your own. So I say I do not go to school anymore. 
I do not go to school anymore. Can you make another example? Let's try to make one using you. You do or does? Do. Do. Do not. You do not. Think about any Live activity. Live in Santa Ana. Live in Santa Ana. Good. Okay. Now let's make one using he. Do or does? Does. Does, does not. Does. Think about any activity or any action. Yes. Does in in the morning, fry. Está como vallido en la clase. Eat in the morning. Fry. Okay. She does not run in the night. Run at night. Good. No, sorry. All right. Now one with it. Do or does? Does. Does. Does not. Does not what? Does not work. Work, okay. Next one, we do or does? Do. 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 We do not. Play football. Go to the gym. Okay, go to the gym. And the last one using they, do or does? Do. Do. Not. Going to the mountain. Go to the mountains. All right, good. So now let's let's practice. Let's continue with some practice. Um, oh, also let me mention about the contracted forms. Remember that here, instead of saying do not, we can say don't, right? So I say, I don't go to school anymore. Or in this case, you do not live in Santa Ana. You say you don't live in Santa Ana. He does not eat in the morning becomes he doesn't eat in the morning. She does not run at night. She doesn't run at, at night. It does not work. It doesn't work. We do not go to the gym. We don't go to the gym. They do not go to the mountains. They don't go to the mountains. So here you can replace. Oh, let me get the marker here. So we can replace this for don't. And this one for doesn't, right? And always remember that the verb doesn't take S um, at any times, right? She does not run. It does not work. Okay, so let's continue by doing some practice. Here you have an exercise. You have to choose do not or does not. Please copy the exercise and complete it. Okay, let me know when you're done, please.
Are you done? Yes. You're finished. Okay. Mm -hmm. So how about we check? We got number one, I live in a house. I do not live do not. in an apartment. Do not live in an apartment. She does, does not. not. That's not, not as much like spiders. You do not do, do not. not do not do not need a dictionary. We don't do not do not do not or don't have cake for breakfast and eat. That's, 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 not. Not. that's not that's not rain much in summer. Jack and Jill? Do, do, do not. not. Do not want to go up the hill. Mike lives in New Zealand. He does, does not. Does not. Does not live in Australia. Daniel? Does not. Does not. Doesn't go to the beach. Does not go to the beach or doesn't go to the beach. I do not Don't. or does not. I do not. I do not. Do not. not. Good. I do not live in Japan. And he? He does not. Does not. Does not or doesn't. Speak Korean. All right. Good. Now let's continue. By working on a worksheet, let me. So now it's time to work in the breakout rooms, in small groups. And it's a little, let me just show you the work that we are going to do. And there we go. So we are going to solve some exercises. Let me share them. Here we go. We got exercise number one, fill in the blanks using the verbs in parentheses. So here you have to write the corresponding form of the verb. For example, I usually go or goes. What do we say? Go. 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 go right? So you complete the sentences using the right form of the verb. Then in exercise number two, you have to underline the correct form of the verb. 
here you have three different options. You just choose the one that is correct, the one that corresponds. Exercise three is about making negative sentences. So you go from I watch TV to I do not watch TV or I don't watch TV. And in exercise number four, we have to write negative sentences. I not like coffee. What would be the negative sentence there? I don't. I don't like coffee. I do not. Perfect. I don't like coffee or I do not like coffee. Okay, so let me send the file to you and then I'll send you to the breakout room. So I'll share it in WhatsApp. Yeah. And now let me open the breakout rooms. So you work together with your classmates. There you go. Ah, vaya, que voy a empezar consultas mañana porque sí está raro eso. Ah, Dios. Ah, bueno, que ya la, el porrazo de la multa ya no la quitamos. <ríe> bueno, lo importante es la presentación. Eso no es mucho. No es solo lo necesario. Ah, oh, Hola. Vamos a ver, yo creo que... Él lo mandó. Mandó un archivo, pero en el caso mío no lo puedo abrir, no tengo esa aplicación, dice, no sé si ustedes podrán. Pero ver... Sí, um... es un Word. Mm, ah, sí, es un Word. Uh -huh. Word. Word. Quiero ver... ¿Cómo le hacemos? Les envío los... Ah, bueno, que no lo tengo... Eh, quiere las capturas ¿Puedo enviarlos, puedo enviarlos ah muy bien por favor entonces más chico esto ahorita lo voy a lo va a mandar usted en teoría ahí va el primero Exercise two. Okay, then the second. Three on the. Four. Okay, by the way. Okay. Okay. Listo. Ah. Ya estamos, ya. Gracias. Bueno, al menos tengo un par aquí, pero ya con eso podemos trabajar perfectamente. Ah, chévere. Sí. Ahí va el último. El último, el Ahí está. Exacto. Ya aterrizó también. Gracias. A ver. Va. Empezamos, arrancamos. Ok. Vaya. Fill in the blanks using the verbs in the parentheses. Solamente. 
te quiero hacer algo. Espérame. Ahora ya termino todos los ejercicios de. ¿Ya los terminó? <risa> no, dale, a usted. <risa> eh, Pero está bien callada. Viera que ahorita estoy con unas. <risa> Tiene dividido el cerebro ahorita. Ah, I, I usually go to the school. They visit. Hay simplemente que poner el verbo, ¿verdad? Ajá, Ajá. se lleva la. Es la IS. They visit. They play. You play basketball. Tom works Ajá. every day. Pero es afirmativa y negativa a la vez, ¿verdad? Tenemos wow. que poner en las dos, entonces. Ah, ah, en todas. ¿Verdad que sí? Yes. <ríe> sí, Yo tenemos que poner en las dos. Así go. By usually. Go. go to school. Oh, go. I usually do. Ah, sí, ¿verdad? Con el do, ¿verdad? Do go to school. Con el do, ¿ah? Huh? Do go. Mm -hmm. Luego está go. usually do not go. Do not go to school. Luego, they do visit us often. Mm -hmm. If they do not, or not. they don't visit us often. Luego, bien. You, do, do, say do, say do, 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 To work. The work. Hey, ¿Qué pasa? <laughs> to work every day. Y el Tom does not work. He always do tell stories. He always. Funny story. Does tell. Funny he does. He always does tell, ¿crees? Sí, does tell. Does tell uh -huh. and he doesn't tell. Hi, I apologize for this. Hi. I accidentally called you back. So let me send you back again to the breakout room so you can continue working. Sorry. I was just checking something and then I clicked on it accidentally. Sorry. Let me send you again. There you go. Sí. Okay. Next. Next. Eh, le doy un poquito más de sumo, está bien así. 
Sí, está bien. Ok. Mm, underline. The current form. The current the form. Verb to be. Eh, of the verb. The first is the letter A. Repeat them, please. Underline. Sería subrayar. Yes, that's correct. Letter A. And the two. Patricia always, comes. but she no. comes, comes. Uh, letter three, number three, she. Answer. Answer. Lip. No, no escuchaba bien, es que eh, sonaba un poco distorsionado. Okay. Sería subrayar aquí. Ah, subrayar la palabra. Sería literal A. Que no, que no es, que no es poner la, el literal. No, de, eh, bueno, la indicación dice subraya la respuesta correcta del verbo. A ver. Uh -huh. pues, Sería eh, subrayar. Eh, Mr. A. Smith. Number, number one, one is has, porque es, es el irregular. It has, ok. Uh -huh. Sorry, Miss. The subject is we. Number one, we have. We uh, increase oh, yes. times a week. Yeah. Is we, we have. have. Yes. Mm -hmm. Things. Patricia. 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 She comes. Yes. She sleeps. sleeps. Mr. Mr. Smith. Uh, speaks. Speaks. Yes. Ah, solo esas cuatro. Yes. Esas are three. Esas are three. Make negative sentence. What is make? For the bit, for the first, for the first part. Is I do not. I. What? I, I do not. Uh huh. I do not. I don't know what to be. Watch TV. For uh, I don't watch TV. Me imagino que le tenemos que pasar positivo porque está en negativo. O es el ejemplo. Yeah, it was the example. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Example is. Um, uh, entonces sería we play football. In the negative, we don't. We do not or don't play football. Don't. We yes. Mm -hmm. Or do not. Es lo, es lo mismo. Ah. Solo que contractar. Sí, es que por ratito se escucha así como, como entrecortado. Ah, sí. Quizás mi conexión está lenta. Es que es el viento. Puede ser los vientos. Ah, ajá, ajá, también. We don't play football. Yes. Okay. Football. It is. It is boring. ¿Cuál sería la negativa? Sería. It does not. Do... They were using the verb mm -hmm. be. So what's the negative word of verb be? We're using the verb be. It is. The verb, the verb is it. It uh, is. It. Not. The same body. It is not. 
it isn't boring or it is not boring. It could be any of those. Oh, okay. It is, it, it isn't boring. It or is? It. 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 Sería it does not. Mm. Ah, pero aquí tengo duda porque no sé si al inicio es it. It mm. es. Si es it, it, verdad. Se, ajá, se utiliza does not. Correcto, does not. Ajá. Does not boring. Ajá. So in that case, we are using the verb be. It is boring, right? We're using the verb be in the form is. So if I want to change it to the negative, what do I use or what do I say? Um, X, X does not. No, there do, we do not use do or does. We use the, the verb be. I mean, we have the verb be there. It is. How do we change it that? Is no. It is not, exactly. It is not boring or it isn't boring. Ah, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. It is not boring. So, Rosaria, it is not. Yes, it is not or it isn't. Okay. Vaya. Vamos a la siguiente. Sería mm -hmm. she, ¿verdad? She cleans her room. Sería she, she does not clean, clean her room. Sí, she does not clean her room. Mm -hmm. Ahora sí. Do 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 not ride your bike every weekend. Every weekend. You ride your bike every weekend. You ride your, your, your. You sería, sería, do, verdad? Do not. Sí. Mm -hmm. You do not. Bye. Um, la siguiente dice Sandy takes nice photos. Sandy takes nice photos. Sandy. Sería Sandy. Aquí hasta el verbo. Ajá, pero ahí, ahí este, según lo que entendí yo, que si utilizábamos el verbo dar, teníamos que, quitar, teníamos que quitarle la, la, la S. La S, ajá, hay que ajá. quitarle la S. Entonces sería... Sandy does not Ajá. take nice photos. Ah, va. Debe tener la, la mantener la forma, el verbo. Sí, sí. Nice. Ese no cambia, quedaría take. Correcto. They... Take, 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 sin la S. Uh -huh. El otro sería they, 
they they do not open mm -hmm. the window open open mm -hmm. letter eight verdad it speaks Sí. Speak. Speak. Speaks. No, speak. No, speak. No, ay, no sé. Habla, ajá. Hablando. I may help you. Hi, teacher. Hello. Do you have any questions? Yes, in the I... number four, you are in Mr. Smith. Smith. Two. Two. Okay. So it says, in... Mr. Smith, speak English with a with a strong foreign accent, right? And we got the options, speak, speak, and spoke. So for Mr. Smith, Mr. Smith, um, if we replace it with a pronoun, which one would it be? ¿Con qué pronombre lo reemplazaríamos? Letter B. El, con he. He speak. Ajá, he. Okay, I think it's letter B. Speak. He speak. But we're Ajá. talking about Mr. Smith. That is a man, right? Uh -huh. man. So, what is the pronoun for Mr. Smith? He. He. And then for he, we use... Speak or speak? Letter A is speak. Letter A, exactly. We say Mr. Smith speak. Okay. B. Option B. Okay. Exercise three, make narrative center, sentence. I watch TV. I don't watch TV. I don't watch TV. Yeah. I don't know what TV. I don't know what TV. Okay. I don't watch TV. Teacher. Yes. Y si digamos, lo voy a preguntar en español, perdón. Okay. Y si digamos nosotros no ponemos Una letra que es mayúscula, la ponemos en minúscula, eso está mal. Yes. So, yes, you should be careful with that because, um, especially because of the platform, right? So in the platform, um, we normally have the, the case sensitive. So if by any chance you, you have an upper case that shouldn't be there, then it's going to, to mark the answer as wrong. And also the punctuation is important. But um, it's very similar to Spanish, right? We capitalize all proper nouns. Usamos mm -hmm. mayúscula en los nombres propios, al inicio de las oraciones. And... Sería como una falta de ortografía. Exactly. Okay. Thank you. Okay. No problem. Number two, I don't, I don't, I do not watch TV. Uh, we play football. We do not play football, or we don't we, ball. We don't play football. Play football. We don't. Play football. Or we do we don't we do not we do not see we don't ball or we don't play football. 
Use the contraction. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it is bo boring. It is boring. It isn't boring. Very good. Uh, it isn't boring. It isn't boring and it isn't dozen? It isn't No. There you do not no, need. No, it doesn't. There you do not need do or does. You use is not. Remember, doesn't. we're talking about the verb be, right? So we say it is not or it isn't. It isn't. Ah. It isn't boring. It isn't boring. Ah. Yes. So we also it include is, it here, even though it doesn't take the do or does not, we include it here because it's still simple present. So that is the simple present for the verb be, which is really special, right? But still, it's part of the sense. Sería siempre simple present, pero recordemos que el verb be es muy especial, entonces siempre tiene distintas formas. Es por eso que está en este ejercicio siempre. Okay. Simple present. Nada más que en el verb be tenemos las formas isn't, aren't, and I'm not in the negative. And for mm -hmm. all the mm -hmm. verbs, we got does not or do not. Okay. Okay, she cleans her, her room. She isn't cleans her room. In that her case, room. use do not or does not. Uh -huh. she, she doesn't or da, does not. Uh, okay. She doesn't. She doesn't her room. Mm -hmm. She doesn't clean her room. Sí. She doesn't. Or she does not clean. Not. Okay. Your right, your, your right, your right every weekend. Eso no le entiendo. You ride your bike. You ride your bike. Uh -huh. um, well, in that case, you cannot translate it literally. No podemos traducirlo literalmente porque sonaría muy raro en español. So we say, uh, tú usas tu bicicleta. Ride a bike. Usar una bicicleta o andar en bicicleta. Ah. You ride your bike. And it says every weekend, cada fin de semana. You do not ride your bike. You do not ride your bike. That's correct. Oh, okay. You do not ride your bike. I. I. Entendió, Carmelina? Yes. You don't, you do not ride your bike every weekend. Perfect. Yes. And he doesn't take nice photos. Sandy doesn't. Yes, Sandy nice doesn't or does not. Does not. Does not. Sandy takes nice photos. 
He, he doesn't take nice photo. Yes. Sandy does not take nice photos. Or Sandy does not nice photos. Does not take. Does not take. Don't see. See, dance don't take. Nice photos. They do not open the window. They repeat. They do not. They do not. They do not. They do not open the window. They do not open. The windows. He does not buy a new city. It's correct. Doesn't buy a new city or he does not. New city. I'm, I am Lake. You're not? I, se seguirá poniendo la I am don't, do not? Sería ahí quizá, I am don't Lake, no. Ajá, uh -huh. I don't Lake. There you only need, you don't need to add the not, right? Because you're using the verb being once again. So you say, I am not. Not, not Lake. I am not Lake. Yeah, okay. I am not. Yes. I am not late. She has. He, he no. does. He, he has a no. cat. Has a cat. She does not. Has, has a cat. A cat. She, she does not have a car. A cat. Uy, ya le estoy cambiando a carro, ¿ya? A car. Exercise for us. Why negative sentence? Negative sentence. Okay. Veamos. I'm not like coffee. La primera está bien, va. I not like coffee. I don't like coffee. I don't not. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, Dumb. I don't like coffee. She doesn't come from Spain. Yeah, no, she doesn't. Uh -huh. She's uh -huh. not from Spain. She doesn't come from Spain. Okay, so we'll be leaving the breakout rooms in just a minute. It doesn't matter if you didn't finish, it's okay. We'll come back to the main class. So we'll see you in a couple of minutes, 12 seconds. Okay.
Okay, welcome back everybody. How was the practice? Did you finish? Yes. Yes, finish. Yeah. Finish. Hey, Great. Miss, miss add the question. Okay, come. Este, fíjese que yo estaba conectado de la PC. Ajá. Uh -huh. Pero a la hora de que, de que este, ingresamos a los grupos, eh, ya no pude acceder, sino que me quedó este, como que me quedó este trabado el programa. Entonces ya no pude, ya no pude ingresar de la PC, pero me logré conectar del, del teléfono. Y estuve está? trabajando con las, ajá, con las compañeras, ¿verdad? Pero como aparezco con el mismo nombre y el mismo correo, creería yo que no habrá ningún inconveniente, ¿verdad? No, there's no problem. Don't worry. Ah, ok. okay. Thank you. Miss, one question. Tell me. Eh, él acaba de mencionar algo muy interesante referente al correo. El correo que yo utilizo para la plataforma Zoom es uno, pero el correo con el que entro en la plataforma eh, para hacer las actividades y tareas es otro. ¿Afectará a eso? Mm, I don't really know. So you should ask maybe Jason or Miss Elena. Miss Elena Mendez, so probably you can send a message to her tomorrow and ask about it because I'm not sure. Realmente no, no sabría darle una respuesta en cuanto a eso. Ahí sí deberíamos preguntarle a Jason Bautista o a Elena Mendez. Uno de ellos dos nos puede dar alguna respuesta ahí porque ellos son los encargados de lo administrativo y no, no sabría decir. Sí, es que tenía esa duda porque eh, Gaby me anotó con un correo, uh -huh. pero en plataforma cuando llenamos, bueno, cuando eh, en Recursos Humanos llenaron mis formularios, ahí se fue el otro correo, un Gmail. Tengo un Hotmail para, para plataforma y Gmail para Zoom. Uh -huh. Entonces, no sé yes, si eso... So, we should ask them. Let's just ask Jason or Miss Elena. They have to know about it. Okay, mañana pregunta. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Hi. Sorry. Oh. I have a question eh, in Spanish because I don't know much English. Eh, when I study English, I remember that when we use DAS, you have to use the verb in its normal form, right? And when we use the verb, if we don't use DAS, we have to put the rules. Yes, that's correct. Yes, so in the affirmative form, we change the verb. For example, here, Tom works, right? We say Tom works every day. Then for the others, we do not change it, right? For example, you say you play. So there, you only add S to the third person. And then when we use the negative, we do not change any of the verbs. For example, here I say, I do not watch TV. And here we have, she cleans. It takes S, right? We got cleans. But when we write it in the negative form, it becomes, she does not or doesn't clean. So we say, she does not clean, no S anymore. Okay, thank you. No estaba seguro. Yes, yeah, but gracias. thanks. Me. But you got it, okay. All right, and then let me also mention about the verb be. Here, you have some uh, some sentences that take the verb be, right? Remember that we that's what we studied last week. Here we do not use the auxiliaries do or does. Here we use is, am, or are, depending on the on the subject that we have, right? For example, in the case of it is boring, we say it is not boring. Here we do not use do or does. And then you may ask me why is it here with the other with the other sentences, right? That take do not or does not. Well, because this is the simple present form of the verb be, so it's the same tense. Sería también el mismo tiempo verbal, el simple present, 
Nada más que recordemos que el burpee siempre es muy especial, ¿verdad? Siempre tenemos formas distintas y es por eso que lo manejamos incluso en una lección diferente. Sin embargo, es parte del simple present. Es por eso que también se incluye en este tipo de ejercicios. Nada más tener ese cuidado. Cuando tengo am, is o are en las oraciones, también voy a utilizarlo para las, en las oraciones afirmativas, voy a utilizarlo también para las negativas. Por ejemplo, here. I am late becomes I am not late. I am not. There I do not use do not or does not anymore. And for all the other verbs, I need the auxiliaries. Para todos los demás verbos, siempre vamos a utilizar los auxiliares do not or does not. Excepto cuando estamos hablando del verb. Is it clear? Are we clear about that? Okay, good. All right, so we only got a couple of minutes. Let me ask you to do some homework. So here we are working on the platform on exercise number six. You must complete homework number six. In homework number six, you have to unscramble the following affirmative and negative statements. Here you have some sentences. You must put them in the right order. For example, here it should be, I sleep at night, right? And then always remember that we start with a capital letter. Se inicia con, con letra mayúscula. And then you need a period, right? Y al final de la oración siempre necesitamos el puntito. And that will be pretty much it. Then I also need you to complete page number 19 in your student's manual. Page number 19 in your student's manual. In exercise one, you have to brainstorm about job positions. Just think about the job positions that are there in your in your job, right? So what kind of occupations are there? What kind of position? Then um, you also mentioned three activities that you do there. So for example, in my case that I am a teacher, I may say, I do planning, I do planning, I teach lessons, and I also check exams. Those are three things that I do at work. That's what I want you to do, to do. Just think about the things that you, that you do at work. For example, you make reports, you have meetings, and what else? You check your patients and so on, right? Then in the second exercise, you have to read and match the words or the vocabulary to the corresponding definitions. For example, number one, keep track of the financial accounts of companies. Who would that be? The bookkeeper, the financial analyst, the human resource specialist, or which one? You select the correct one and you write the corresponding letter, letter A, B, C, or whatever letter it is. Okay, so homework. In the platform, you solve homework number six. And in the student's manual, you complete page number 19. Is that right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so have a good night, everybody. See you tomorrow. Take care. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Take care. Take care. Thank you. Good night.